This is ECW original, the Angry Amish Warrior Roadkill. Chicken. What's up, everybody? This is Coach Kev of the Damage 365 Radio Network. I want to talk to you about one of our sponsors, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. That's right, you heard it. They're in Englishtown Flea Market in the Green Building, booth number 35. They have everything for your wrestling collectible needs. Check them out. They got figures, DVDs, cards, T-shirts, and even tickets to local independent wrestling circuits. They have that and so much more. Look, sitting here listening to me talk about it does not do it justice. Go check it out for yourself. The Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore in the English Town Flea Market. Green Building, booth number 35. Also, check them out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Inc. And tell them Coach Kev sent you. This is former WWE superstar, The Patriot, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Do not touch that dial. U-S-A, U-S-A, U-S-A. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Thanks again to our sponsors, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstar, over there in the English Town Flea Market, Blue Building, both 46 and 47. And, of course, take a listen to the Funkenstein Wrestling Roundup Radio Show with Babs. And uh, Esposito's Pizza and Pasta of Matawan and Manasquan, New Jersey. And, of course, 2K Pro, WarriorsOfWrestling.com. And, uh, and everybody else. Okay, so um, here, here's, the, here's the dig. Okay, we have, and it's not just one person, there's numerous people uh, that are on Facebook who pose as collectible promoters. They say they do private signings and to send all your merchandise to them and they'll have it signed for you at whatever cost or you can purchase pre-signed merchandise from them and they'll give you a certificate of authenticity. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, usually the certificate of authenticity can consist of the superstar signing the, an autograph, uh, which always turns out to be that they grab that picture off a Facebook page of someone else's at another show and use it as their own. They never actually had a private signing. They just use someone else's show uh, to obtain money from suckers looking for autographs and then they usually forge uh, these autographs or they contact the person who is having the private sale and they get a wholesale price and then charge you the retail price uh, which again is also messed up and um, the legit sites that try to not allow these people in and allow that things to go on under their nose have put the word out and have put the names out there of these people who claim uh, you know that they are promoters and they can do this they can get this autograph and they're basically lying uh, this particular person Steve Carlton no relation to the uh, former Phillies pitcher um, he claimed that he had a private signing uh, booked with the manager of Hogan's Beach uh, with Hulk Hogan. Okay. And then he was charging $30 for an autograph, 40 if you wanted it inscribed. Yeah, right. Which anybody knows anything about a Hogan autograph, 
you are not paying less than $100 for an autograph of Hulk Hogan. Okay, that's one. Two, uh, word it got out so bad that Hogan himself posted on his page that he is not doing any private signings, so you might want to look into who's you know who you're talking to. And Hogan's manager of Hogan's Beach also put out a post that he made no agreement with anybody. So, and this 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 Steve Carlton character insists that he had a booking with Hulk Hogan, and they backed out and canceled it. Okay, we have so many uh, screen grabs of of conversation with numerous legit promoters who are tired of having their name used with this guy and have tired of having their guys used in his BS private signings and their pictures used in his certificate of authenticities that um, it, it's ridiculous. I've seen so many photo, uh, screen captures of conversation, including uh, one that I had with him uh, the other day, which was uh, pretty humorous. I, I'm going to have to, it was, it was pretty humorous, the conversation I had with him. Um, we, we did manage to get a phone number uh, through a concerned uh, a concerned person that uh, you know basically wants this crap stopped as well so this is a conversation after I posted something on his page I said to Hogan um, on, on this collectibles page that this Steve Carlton runs I said the Hogan um, thing was, was a scam I was like there was never a signing I said stop so he messages me, uh, stay off my, we already have the explicit button push, so stay off the fucking, stay off my fucking post when you don't know what you're talking about. And all you motherfuckers <laughs> spreading lies about me is about to get sued for slander, so better spread the word to everyone else talking shit, especially John, Richie, and if you know them. I did have a deal with Hogan, but the deal got cut. And I wrote back to this, this this knucklehead. It wasn't your signing, bro. Stop piggybacking off other people's hard work and forging signatures. Especially that, and I'm not going to name it, which one, he particular one he had. But he had a, let's just put it, he had a trio photo of three particular superstars. There was such an obvious forgery, it was ridiculous. It looked like a six-year-old signed all three autographs. You're popular on Facebook for fakes. It's not my doing. That's all you. I said, so please, sue me. You're a fraud, and how you can live with yourself selling fraudulent product is sick. Can't wait to out you again on my next show. He said, nothing is fake. I sell... sell. Uh, what did he say? Nothing is fake. I sell and... Hogan signing was mine. The deal got cut. So he's still, still in, in like the Hogan deal. When Hogan and Hogan's manager both said there was no such thing. Okay, I got emails from Ron at Hogan's Beach Shop confirming it and then cutting it. So obviously he's going to supply us with a fake email. You know, just basically putting Hogan, you know, Ron at Hogan's. Uh, Beachshop.com. I actually seen a screenshot that Ron from Hogan's Beach Shop said there was no such. Yeah. Right. Call Ron. Yeah. He gave him his number. He said call, and Ron said there was no such deal. Call me. Yeah. If you have any questions, okay. So you can all kiss my ass. Sounds like a real professional here. So I said that's great. I said, do you have letters from the formerly known as that trio picture? To, to allow you to forge their signatures because they can't get any more fake. I said, I, he goes, I didn't forge them. I got them from someone else. Oh. So I wrote, so you buy forgeries and resell? He goes, as far as I know, hell no. I said, bro, there is a fake. They're not even close to the real signature. I said, one of them is way off. The other one doesn't even have his right initials. And if you look at it, and compare them to other signatures, they're not even close. I said the same person signed all three of those signatures. All three. You don't have to be a specialist to see how bad this is. And it's not only that one. It was numerous other ones that were really bad. Um, let's go. Let's see if I can pull up. <laughs> one more. Do I have another one? Oh, God bless you. Woo! Thank you. Yeah, we got another one here. Can we call 
We're going to if, the, if hopefully the number works. Okay. I put the screenshots uh, of the conversation that I had with with uh, this this guy. Okay, here is they had a picture of his uh, Hogan Hulk Hogan private signing two day pre order hosted by Stephen Carlton. Um, Hogan's Beat Shop. Now this is he claims that. He's going to be at Hogan's Beat Shop to be there for this private signing when the, this, the signing never took, when the signing never existed. Um, this is a private signing I have set up with Hulk Hogan. And I am taking, which he spelled wrong, mail orders for signed photos. This is a pre sale at a reduced price till Monday. Till, not until, till Monday. 8x10 photos. First of all, they're not 8x10 photos, they're 8 by 11 are thirty dollars each and can be personalized. Personalized with inscription will be forty. I have photos available. Okay. Then someone asked me if there's any chance to get a classic figure or spilled sports illustrated signed, which he followed up with private message me, and um, he'll 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 take care of it. Okay. Ron Howard. Okay. This was a screenshot of someone else with a conversation. Said. Um, asked him was this real because if not I want to stop them because he's scamming his reply back was yes it's fake he goes I thought so Triple H signs nothing for $30 that's not my store I know nothing about it then continued he continued to write in his comments Steve Carlton yes we will do figures and more PM me I have already talked to Ron to set it up. And then Ron Howard chimed in, you did not talk to me. Call Ron, and he wrote and he left his phone number. So he just got call, He just got outed by the guy he said he set it up with. Yeah. And, and still going with it. Right. And then, of course, later on, Hogan posted on his page, Hulk Hogan, heads up, there is no private signing at Hogan's Beach Shop. If you pay someone for this, you're on your own, HH. So you can't you get outed by the guy you claim that you set this up with, and Hulk Hogan himself, who took the time to even acknowledge this idiot, and he's still insisting that he had a deal and a deal was cut. Still, but his reply back to everybody is "fuck you," and he blocks them. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, how stupid can you be? Oh, I, I just can't. Um, and then this was him having a conversation with, with John Manichino. You can ask Ron yourself, I just want all this to stop and everybody to get along and just get a B. We can solve this like adults or handle it a different way, but I don't think any of you want it the different way because uh, I step face to face and see what happens. Now, this guy is the biggest puss bag on the face of the oh. earth. I don't owe anybody anything or worked with anyone else except Rob Feinstein, which Rob flipped out that he even mentioned his name. I've never got anything from you, John, or James, so there's no reason to be messing with me. I don't sell fakes nor forge stuff, and most of my business I do is with John Kellner, even though he just said he does business with Rob Feinstein, and he will vouch for me. Um... And then, of course, he puts only two days left to order for A.J. Lee autograph f photographs, $40 each, plus $3 shipping. I have photos available and trading cards, which is spelled trading wrong. Photos can be personalized. Contact me for details. Which Are you telling me that it costs the same for an A.J. Lee autograph that it does for a whole color? Yeah, autograph? According, according to him. Wow. According to him. Wow. See if I can get me one of them. So, uh, I'm. What, what do you what do you want to what do you think we should we should ask about? Call. Him. Still asking if we get through. Still, still see if he has the Hogan deal going see or if the, still got the AJ Hogan Lee. Deal, see if he got the AJ Lee. Tell him your son's really interested in it. Yeah, we'll see. We <laughs> ask him about them signatures. Look at that. See if the number's good. 